All right, so talking about the rules, that's one of the major controversies that we're hearing about right now in regards to the convention, aside from the, fa aside from the question of whether it'll be brokered, contested, or a one-ballot convention. But we're hearing a lot about Rule 40B. Now, this is a rule that changed. It, it took place the last convention, and it changed uh, the requirements for a nominee from a five-state plurality to an eight-state majority. Uh, Morton, can you tell us a little bit more about this rule? I sure can. I was a member of the Rules Committee representing Virginia at the 2012 convention in Cleveland. And the rules uh, that were in effect uh, as we arrived in Cleveland was that a candidate's name could be placed in nomination if the candidate could demonstrate proof of a, of a plurality of the delegates uh, in state in in five states uh, the romney people decided to use the power that they had as the presumptive nominee to pass a large number of amendments through the convention rules committee and one of them was to increase the threshold from a plurality of five states to a majority of eight states now, this is something that you mentioned, Mitt Romney, that I think until very recently the American people didn't hear that much about this. I know I did not hear about this detail of it until very recently, but Mitt Romney's campaign, you say, lobbied for this rule change. Why would they do that, Martin? Well, they were trying to marginalize everybody else. That's not the only thing that they did. They also did what has never happened before in the history of the Republican Party. Uh, they said that anybody any candidate who could not dem demonstrate support from that threshold of eight states could not have any votes of delegates count for him. So the actual fact is that the ta at the Tampa Convention, the only votes that were tallied and counted and announced were the votes that were cast for Mitt Romney. It wasn't necessary for them to do it. I think they were just wanting to uh, uh, show who was boss. Right. So, so answer me this then. If the RNC is stepping in uh, and trying to prevent the change that you proposed, wh why are they doing that? Do they have an outside candidate that they're trying to uh, slip into this convention, someone who has not participated in the primary that they want to be eligible for the nom uh, to be the nominee? Liz, I think that the party establishment believed that the Romney rules from, from, from 2012 we're going to facilitate the nomination of an establishment candidate. And when we had the two debates uh, on my proposals, uh, we were able to discuss it dispassionately on the basis of what is most fair, for, uh, most, most fair and most uh, helpful to the party in a long run. But um, now changing the rules is a different matter, because now the discussion would center, or certainly the emotions and, act, and actions would center, on which candidates will be helped and which candidates will be hurt. In, and I think changing the rules now in the middle of the game could be catastrophic. I think there are only two ways the rules regarding the nomination process at the convention in Cleveland can be changed are Two, one is by a general consensus of all the major players, and by that I mean the Cruz campaign, the Trump campaign, and RNC chairman Reince Priebus. Uh, if, they, if they are in agreement, then the rules can be changed. The only other way that I believe rules can be changed would be after a ferocious rules battle in Cleveland that could split the Republican Party.